Hello Pisces and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. We are going to do a you versus them reading. So we're gonna have person number one over here, person number two over here. Once you figure out who is on which side, make sure that you stick to those sides. Okay, take what resonates, feel free to leave the rest. This is going to be for the rest of January. I'll say January 15th into February 15th. January 15th to February 15th, please. We'll start off with the energy of person number one. The Prince of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like for some of you, this is somebody who you're either questioning what's the next step, what you truly feel for this person, or if this is somebody you should dedicate your time to. Some of you, you're just starting to like someone, but you're not 100% sure yet. You're taking it slow. You're allowing yourself to get to know the person. Some of you guys are making the decision to take more time to get physical with people that you're dating than you usually do. It's like you've analyzed something that has been a pattern and you're doing the opposite of it. And you're realizing that you're attracting better energies because of this. I'm sorry, I think one of my neighbors has a dog. I love dogs. Okay, show me the energy of person number two. The Ten of Pentacles. So this person already knows what they want. This person sees the full potential of this connection, whereas this person is just starting to see it. This person is way ahead of the game. They've already pictured a marriage, a wedding, children. I mean, they just, once they saw this person, they knew that's my person that's my person and this person is willing to do whatever it takes to get this person they will do whatever it takes they will wait however long it takes they will go through whatever battles and challenges and tests you throw their way it doesn't matter this person is determined i don't think this is someone from your past for some of you it could be but for the majority of you If this is someone from your past, you're probably wondering if it's worth starting all over again and rebuilding all over again after everything you've gone through. And it's like, I already lost my breath just saying those two lines, like whew, you've been through a lot with that person from the past and they think it's worth rebuilding, but you may not. You may feel better off without them, but they may. <laughs> yeah, you thought they were your everything until you separated, then you realized you were your everything. They thought they were their everything until you separated, then they realized you were their everything. Okay, show me the energy of person number one. The Princess of Swords. Curious, gathering information, stalking maybe, watching watching and waiting but not speaking there is no action from this person they are strategic this person is very very strategic if you are this person over here with, with the high hopes this person could be leading you on in the form of thinking you may like this person is like holding back and they're not letting you know that like i think they definitely are testing and planning like there's something strategic going on here and you're not aware of what you're in yet of what you're in for yet but this person does want something with you just the way that they're going about it you won't know until you know it's like they have a system they want to see every single side of you before they make the decision 
Again, like I said, this person has already seen everything. This person is just starting to see. So they're getting it one by one, bit by bit. Whereas this person got the whole vision. They're not getting a little piece of the dream every night or remembering a little piece of the dream every couple of days. So on this side, so someone who's very, very spiritual advanced, somebody who will definitely um, level this person up when it comes to their spirituality, when it comes to their insight, when it comes to their ability to tap into their own selves and um, realize what they are able to create and how, what are their best forms of creation. Show me the energy of person number two. Okay, well, the card fell right on top like this, so we know it's this one. Empress. God, this person knows what they want and they're so confident. <laughs> the Empress. Boy, oh boy. I don't know whatever this energy did, but I don't think they had to do anything. Like, have you ever seen somebody so attractive that it feels like your heart just like drops on the floor? Like it's rare, but it's like, and you can't stop staring at them until they're like, well, sometimes when that happens, you become, even if you're the most introverted person, something happens where you somehow are able to approach them out of nowhere. It's like an out-of-body experience because you're just so drawn to them. But other times you just stare at them until they're out of your sight, no matter how long it takes, because they're just like, you just can't, you've never seen a creature like that. Like they they must be out of this world. You know, that kind of energy, that is this person. And this person is looking at this one like, wow, you really are something. You really, really are something special. Everything that I've been looking for and yet you just landed in my lap. So of course it won't be easy. Of course I have to fight. This person will love courting you though. They really will. And if this is you, I don't think you've ever like had to court someone or you've ever really like pursued someone the way that you're going to pursue this person, no matter how much you may be holding back or you're used to holding back. Like you guys will make each other do things and react in ways that you've never done before. <sighs> okay. I don't know, I really like this. This is very much fun and flirty and um, it's all about smiling and laughing and really it's it's a child's play. It really is a child's play. Of two very sacred souls. Soul, like for sure you've had like probably like, you've probably known this person in like many, many past lives. Many, many past lives. Um, okay, show me the energy of person number one, please. eight of pentacles yeah person number one here is taking their slow time slow and steady slow and steady wins the race they will they, this person is an overthinker though they will think of every single thing before they make a decision and everything whether it's what to eat or what investment to make doesn't matter <sighs> i don't know i feel so flustered by this energy um There's also this underlying energy of this person, like kind of, I don't know, this is somebody who's just very freeing. What's meant to be will be, so I will live my life. And you know, if I realize that it's for me, it's for me. And you know, I feel like this is someone who, they overthink with certain things, but at the same time, they also have that same freeing flow with life energy. And I think that when they need the energies, it comes in the reverse way of what would most benefit them. And that's something that they need to work on. Okay, show me person number two, please. We have the four of swords. All right, person number two is thinking, sitting back, trying to figure out 
this person could also be in this form of like, okay, if I have physically tried everything I can to do to get this person's attention, um, what if I try to, you know, call them in? What if I try to call in what's best for me? What if I try to align myself, right? Or also even just reflecting and seeing like, maybe why is it that you guys aren't on the same page? I feel like this person may co go into this energy where after a certain point, they are going to with withdraw their energy. They are going to pull back a little and allow you to be the one because I think it's kind of like, this person is like thinking of every aspect, every angle, like they want to try everything, right? So if they are trying so much and it's not working and maybe it's even, maybe they feel as though it's even pushing you away, then if they pull back and you come to them, then they know that, okay, then that's when it's okay, right? This is somebody who's just wanting to make you feel comfortable. Um, I think this person thinks about you a lot. They spend a lot of time thinking about you. They could even dream about you. You guys could connect in your dreams. I definitely feel like there's some form of connection in, in some way, shape or form when you're not actually communicating, whether it's you could feel them or you randomly could smell them, but it's just something significant that happened very early on since you met this person. It could even be like something that's just significant between the two of you that you haven't experienced with someone else before, but yeah, very, very, beautiful and auspicious energy for this reading. Okay. Show me the mutual energy, please. Show me the mutual energy. Show me the mutual energy between the two. I think both of you guys wish that the energy like wasn't so heavy because I feel like feelings kind of caught on really quickly when it comes to this connection and at first it didn't feel like there was pressure but somebody started to feel pressure most likely person number one started to feel pressure so I think both of you guys are kind of wanting to have like a fresh start um, you're wanting to move forward but in a way that is a little bit less so maybe some maybe this person asked this person out and this person wasn't ready so now it's just a little bit awkward or confessed this person might have confessed something or asked to take things to the next level and this person wasn't ready right so it's not that you guys aren't going to be together or that there's going to be like some sort of separation or anything it's that it's just kind of a little bit awkward for now because you're not wanting the same things one person wants more than the other one is able to give right now and it's almost like you wish maybe the person, you guys both wish like it wasn't even asked so that you guys could just go back to how it was before. I think whoever is not ready, you just need to express yourself. And if you're the person that's wondering why, I think you just need to ask. I think a nice conversation could go a long way with this because ultimately you both want the same thing at the end of the day. And that's all that matters, the end goal. The end goal looks the same. Who cares what the path to getting there looks like? It's just gonna take a little bit of patience. And this person doesn't really have much, but with the four of swords coming at the end, it looks like they are learning patience. So it may be the conversation that gives them the patience, right? So. I'm getting like somebody just needs to hear like you can't just assume that they know what you mean right or how you feel or what made you come to certain conclusions i think this person may need more information or information if they have none at all so that is what i have for you i hope that this gives you the clarity that you were seeking if you are interested in a more personalized reading the link will be in the description box below also the link for crystals if you are a crystal lover and you want to expand your crystal collection i will be doing um valentine's day readings that are only for the month of february so if you want to look out for that make sure you do because they only come around once a year all right thank you guys so much and i'll see you